What's good, people? This is Vince. Okay, the screen looks different, I know. It's because I'm running Windows 8 on my uh, computer right now. There's a good reason for that, because when was it last night, when I was uh, downloading some games on Steam, my computer, well, Windows, decided not to work anymore, kept on freezing and everything like that, so... Um, you know, I didn't have a legit copy of Windows because uh, the person who set up my computer didn't put a legit copy on there. So, anyways, so what I what I did is I went to the Microsoft site and I downloaded the um, Windows 8 Enterprise Evaluation copy, and that's good for 90 days. So I am gonna get um, Windows. Uh, Windows 8 full version OEM um, probably the end of December I'll pick that up because uh, I have 90 days three months so I'm gonna be using this right now I'm loading up all my games again um, on Steam here as you can see um, I bought the Batman games uh, that cost me like 12 something 12 13 dollars um, on the autumn sale I had Borderlands already, of course, and Black Ops, and Crisis is downloading right now. I'd only download one at a time. I'm guessing there's a settings for that. I'm, I'm not even going to bother messing with that. But 30 minutes for Crisis to get downloaded, which is not bad. So I got that going. I have um, Origins going also. Uh, downloading Battlefield. Um and that's 80% done. That's going pretty fast as well. Okay, so we have that, and that's my sound controller. This is the temperature of my CPU here. Uh, in the end there. Check that in the garbage. Um, so as you can see down here in the lower right, it says here the, you know, the evaluation copy, 90 days. Okay, so. All of this is legit um, in the end there. <clears throat> now, don't have your Windows your start button. It is there. You're just, you're just being old-fashioned, okay? The start button is there. This is your start button. Most people are complaining. I hear this every day at work. People are just complaining about Windows 8. The start button, the start button, blah, 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 blah. I just want to tell them to shut the hell up. Don't buy it. Go buy something else uh, in the end. Um, and as for compatibility, it's up to the publishers, not Microsoft, to make stuff compatible. It's up to whoever. It's up to the guys at Valve to make their shit compatible with this. right? If they want to make money, they make their shit compatible with what everybody's going to get in the end. Simple as that. But anyways, so when you're on the um, the start screen here, if you move over to the, <clears throat> well, any of the corners really, I believe, you bring up your charm setting here where you can just quickly go back to the start screen if you're on a different screen. Uh, you can go into the settings for that. You can go into uh, change PC settings. If you had wireless, it would say wireless probably right there. Um, so you can open up your start screen and then you can personalize it. Uh, I wish I could add my own background here, but I think you can download some for that. Um, you can do an account picture there if you wanted to do that. The user account you can change and you can add a user. Notifications, what notifications you want, blah, blah, blah. And you can search. There's it, It's easy to search on here. Share shit, general, you know, like your... Uh, set the right mountain time that's what I'm on <laughs> so but yeah it's it's all your settings will be right here man you know you can check for Windows update there everything uh, I'm good for Windows updates I did all of that already and then you can just um, go to start screen here again uh, now if you head to the desktop the desktop will have its own little if you go settings, it'll have its own settings, right? So you'll have your control panel, which you can just open up in your control panel, right? Boom. Everybody's happy. Bob's your uncle. Um, we'll hit the, go back to the start screen here. Now, 
when you're in the screen, you can easily search for something. So if I want a control panel on the screen, all I have to do is just type control or con and it'll automatically pop up here. Right click on it, pin to start screen. The easiest thing in the world to do. Very easy. And then you can just drag that over here. Boom. Look at that. Why can't I put it on there? But anyways, it's there. In the end, okay? It's right there. You you got your control panel. Boom. And um, of course, you can do your computer so you can look at your drives, right? So I have my solid state hard drive right here. Um, that's the, the restore area, system restore. Um, game videos here. So that's where I keep all my game recordings. And um, this is where my Steam and my Origins will be right here. So all my games will be loaded on there separate from the solid state hard drive. I just don't want to keep them on there because one, I'm, I'm low on space and I don't want to bother with it. And some of the games are 20 gigs. Um, so, but I, I've played around with this already. It's not like this is my first time with Windows 8. I've played around with it at work. Um, so it's nothing really new to me. I just don't know what most people are complaining about really. I really don't know. If you don't like change, don't get a new computer. Keep your old computer. Um, if if your old computer is breaking down, then stop bitching and buy the freaking computer and learn how to use Windows. Right? It's not that difficult. You still got your your desktop. It's right there. Use it. Right? Oh, I want to go to my start. Oh, your start is right there. Organize this however you want to organize it. It's not that difficult so stop the goddamn bitching Ugh, so annoying in the end why buy it and bitch about it anyways um google chrome you know i got the uh what do you call it metro i didn't want you to call it metro no more um i got my youtube already hooked up to this i believe yep i do and there you go that is my youtube Going to video manager. Um, I am right now. I'm loading um, Cry Crisis. Or what am I talking about? I'm loading Far Cry 3 on my Xbox hard drive right now. I'm just installing the game on the hard drive, so it's just you know quicker load times and everything. Um, and then I'll be playing that uh, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I wanna. I w I'll probably do another five. Um, five episodes of Asura's Wrath or Asura's Wrath um, so we'll do part two I, I forgot what part two is called but we'll do all five of those tomorrow and then probably start Far Cry on Thursday um, it's not like you guys are going to see those videos anyway um, okay so we'll go back to the start again I'm liking it, it's nice, it's fast um, in the end there it, it's, it's pretty awesome, love it uh, we'll go to the desktop. We'll go to the desktop here, and go into the settings. PC info, um, and then I rated my my uh, computer. And the lowest thing is my graphics card, I believe, because it can't pick up SL SLI or whatever, but. The hard drive is, is up there, 8.1, love that. But um, don't be afraid if you guys were, you know, scared of upgrading. Um, don't be afraid. I will make another video um, if I run into any issues, um, you know, with games or anything like that. But I've seen other people, the games I play, they play, so, and it's running fine. So we'll just wait for that to finish downloading. Um... Battlefield is almost finished, but it has more updates to do. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, and hopefully, this encourages you to go get a get upgrade if you're on the fence or anything like that. Just if stuff is not compatible, you know, and if that's a big deal to you, don't upgrade. But you can't blame Microsoft about it. It is the developer's job. To have their shit work with new with new software, simple as that. Simple as that. 
Okay, so we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.